guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be looking at some limelight gear. Uh, most of which I've shown you before and, and to be fair most of you actually know about this already. But uh, I thought it would be a nice little show and tell. Uh, the only thing that is missing from here is the limelight freehand M. That's, that's the only one that's missing and, and I should have that next week. But uh, I thought I would show you this anyway. So we had the wicket. Uh, now, those of you, you'll you remember the wicket, remember that the, the, the front plate comes off and then it's got this really, really clever uh, system going on there where you can actually take the board out uh, yourself and if you wanted to, you could replace it, you could change it from a die codes to a DNA 60 or the other way around, but you could do it yourself. Uh, really really clever and it's got the, the trick 510 system you know you put your atty on first battery in and then you adjust with the bit at the bottom the battery cap uh, so trick 510 trick carrier system in it and yes this was the wicket uh, we then had this which was the mono this is the mono light which came in a did, I, did we see it in an 18650? I might have missed it. This is the 18350 version, but basically this has the RAM inside it, which is like a, a MOSFET. Um, so there was no regulation as such. You couldn't turn the power up and down. It just had a MOSFET inside it, and the only limitation was basically your battery. Uh, but I'm pretty sure this comes in 18650 as well. But uh, you can see the, yes, very, very similar. It's just different boards and chips inside and so on and so forth. Now after this, which was the mono light, we now have the mono, uh, which is very, very similar to this. It's very similar. Uh, but the, the, the main difference being, uh, and uh, die codes, die codes, is that uh, with this, the wicket, you could take the front plate off, you could customise your button uh, and you can change out the battery tube but this plate just pulls off at the front. Doesn't do it with this one, uh, doesn't do it with this one. This is actually, you can see that there is no plate as such on the front. It does however have the same 510 going on, it does have the same battery tube system. Hang on, we'll just uh, take this out of here because you can change out the battery tubes and the battery tubes are interchangeable between uh, this mono and the wicket. So you've got the same setup going on here. One thing that is a little bit different uh, is, uh, and I just, just, there you are on the bottom of the wicket, is that uh, on this mono it's got screws. I'm never a huge fan of screws, don't get me wrong, uh, I, I, I criticise it in other mods and as much as I like my righteous friend, uh, yeah I'm not a huge fan of seeing the screws but there you go. I do have to mention it even though he is, yes. Right, uh, so this is what we've got going on here. We've got this little metal plate going on, so we're going to take that off. So it's just a couple of little Phillips screws here and uh, take that out and then undo this one. There we go. Right, so that comes out and uh, on the back of here, uh, what does it say again? I've forgotten. Set your sights upon the heights. There we go. Nice little touch on the back of here, which is not normally covered in fingerprints. Right, so let's dig a little bit further and um, I've kind of spoken about this a little bit before in the past and I said the same thing about the wicket. This is this is where I don't know if, if you get into the market when you start spending let's just say you start spending over a hundred, two hundred, three hundred pounds in a mod there's certain things that uh, and a lot of people that watch my videos will know about. You, a lot of the internals are not easy to get at. Uh, some are glued into place, some you th there's no way you'll be able to repair it, you have to send it back to the modder. But the custom work that Limelight are doing in here with their carrier systems and uh, just the way they've done this is, I tip my hat to them, I really do, it's very very impressive. In fact I've got a screwdriver here and uh, it would be wrong, it would be wrong if I didn't just keep going. 
I know that the, the man himself did a video uh, showing how to break this down properly. I'm going to be honest, I never watched it because where's the fun in that? Where's the fun in that? Let, let's just see what happens when we when we start taking things to bits. There we go. See, this is all custom. This is all custom. This this isn't, you know, you didn't buy this off a shelf. And I'm guessing because this is on his own plug system here that uh, I'm guessing that this is just going to come out of here. Would that, would that be right? Would that be a good guess? I am as well. Look at this. Ah, uh, uh, you, you, honestly, you just, you, you can't, listen, this is, this is really, really nice. I know, and, and I'm not dropping names or, or I shouldn't, but, you know, I really like what Milo over at Tech Division does as well, because, you know, his in internals are very, very clean and whatnot, but this is very, very smart. I'm trying to see what else we've got. I really... I really, really should have watched this video, but I can see another couple of screws just up the top here. I can see another couple. Of, and you know what? We're going to take them out. This mod may never work again. Uh, and that's no big deal because I've got plenty of other mods. But um, I, I would really like it if this worked again. But I'm, I'm kind of hoping that uh, this board is going to just slide out of here. Uh, I may be wrong, it might not. So those two screws, I better take the button off as well. I know the button, the button, if I just twist the button, the button should unscrew. There we go. We're getting there, we, we are getting there. I'm sure there's probably something else that I'm supposed to do here before I try taking this off. Maybe let's take the 510 out. We'll take the 510 out and see. Oh no, there's the button. There goes the button. Let's take the 510 out as well. Why the hell not? Actually, I can think of many reasons why I shouldn't be taking the 510 out, but uh, we're going to do it anyway. There we go. Oh! <laughs> Oops. Look at this. Look at that. That, that, that's... That's so cool. Ah, that's what the two screws for were at the top. It was just a holder to hold the whole thing in place. Look at that. Um, that's so clever. So, so clever. Um, of, of course, the proof in the pudding is putting this all back together. But um, the fact that I can get in at that and just take the screen out and th this charging block here is just, yeah... I, I, I'll not lie, I, I take the absolute piss out of the man on a daily basis and insult him at every opportunity, but I, I tip my hat for this, I really do. And and this is where modding should go, modular, you know, it, it should go this route. Um, yeah, you might not find this interesting, but this is this is how a mod should be done. There we go. Just left with my wooden shell. So there you go. That's the, the limelight mechanics. Uh, mono. Obviously, once again, you've got the mono, which comes like this with a die codes or a DNA 60. Uh, also, you get the wicket. I'm just knocking things over here, which has the removable front plate. Um, and you also have the mono lights that come with the RAM, which is a, a MOSFET which is also their own design. So there's three different variants and there is also the Freehand M, which I will show you probably next week at some point, which is, uh, being rather crude and blunt, is, is essentially this, but curvy. It, it takes a lot of design cues, uh, the, the form, if you like, of the, the old freehand squonker by Limelight. Um, it's, it's one con in my book uh, over about the wicket and the mono is, is the corners. Um, it's a bit like the pylon. It's, it's, you've got the pointy corners. Uh, and if you hold this mod a certain way and fire it, it will never be an issue for you. It's not something to worry about. If you like to hold it at, at that way, then yes, it could be considered a con for some folk. Obviously, the battery direction not being marked, I would consider that a con. But as far as the, the finishing on this, 
10 out of 10. Um, this is what I personally, and taking my friendship with the man out of the equation, this is what I would love to see everybody doing. This this is what makes, for me, uh, a great mod, is the fact that I, in my shed, and if I can do this, I know that anybody can do this. It's, it's literally, just say eight screws, if it is eight screws, I think it's about eight screws. I can take that out, I can then take that board out. I could put in a brand new board uh, I can, you know, rather than sending this back to Serbia to get it repaired, um, I could do the repair myself. I could just get a new board sent out and get it fixed. And it's that easy. I could change it over from a die coach to a DNA, 75, uh, DNA 60. And I like that. I really like that as aspect of it. And, and I tip my hat to the man for that. I really do. I tip my hat to him. It's... Um, Especially in these days with the way the borders with the UK and, and other countries, you know, cracking down on e-cigs and saying you can't ship this, you can't, sh you know, it's just, it's gone backwards a little bit. The fact that you can do repairs yourself in the comfort of your own shed or wherever you do it uh, is, is a big bonus. Oh. And uh, yes, you can buy these in the UK. I know that... Uh, Old Robus at uh, Steam Island is, I don't think he stocked this one. I don't think he stocked the mono. I think he's just got the freehand M and the wickets. Uh, but quick vape. But anyway, that's it. I'm going to stop there. I think I've said enough. I've shown you everything I need to show you. I even gave you some cons about the devices I saw them. But don't forget that, uh, yeah, the tubes are interchangeable with the wickets as well. And I'm pretty sure the freehand aims. I'm pretty sure they are. Uh, but thank you to my lovely, very attractive male friend in Serbia. And uh, to you guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. And uh, please go and watch other reviews. This wasn't really a review. This was more just me having a little bit of fun, taking something to bits and getting, putting it back together and it's still working, which has made my day all the better. But thank you so, so much. And until next time, bye for now.